we can talk about today? Yeah, the future. This is either going to scare the doo-doo out of you, or you're going to go, wow, whoo, everything just changed. I think you're going to go for door number two. You ready? Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fear and live an amazing life. It's this totally fear experience that we came for. What is it? We don't have fear on the other side. It's like, let's go choose something so totally in contrast to what we are. See if we can like master it. Fear, a <laughs> piece of cake. And then you get here and you go, ooh, not so easy. Okay, I have a special holiday video for you. We're gonna talk about the future. I'm gonna name a couple of these people who've predicted things, and I'm gonna to explain to you how this works. I hope this blows your mind. I hope that you have an epiphany. You probably might even go, I sorta of knew that, but now I don't have to stay in fear anymore because I'm gonna reveal something super, super special. Here's the holiday part. In the movie Scrooge, we know that he has a past life review, a present life review, and a future review. Now the past, he got to see the hurt child. This is what I teach all the time. When you're looking at somebody who strikes out and is angry and has fear, there is a little child that went through some trauma, lacking love, lacking attention and caring. And this is a projection into their future. Scrooge is a perfect example of that. This is how we must see each other. The present day, he was a result of the past experiences, but his own choices to react to those past experiences in a specific way, which then resulted in the future. So he says to death, are these events to come or events that can be? Yes, they're events that can be, and if not changed, events to come. This is where we are. I'm going to share something with you that I hope is absolutely an epiphany for you. Nostradamus, of course, he had all these rhymes and everybody thinks they know what they mean and you can have 101 interpretations of it. So his uh, forecasts for the future were very unclear. He did state that they were just things that he saw as warnings that we can change. He made it very clear that everything changes according to our own choices. Nostradamus said that. The Bible says that. Now I'm going to share with you why Baba Vanga, who I just did a video on, had some pretty darn accurate predictions. I'm also going to talk about remote viewers and what their predictions are for our future. Nostradamus predictions very rarely actually came into play. Why? The predictions he made of times within his own era absolutely were way higher percentage of coming true, including when he predicted the king would get nailed in the eyeball during a jousting match. Totally happened, and he died a few days later. Didn't listen, right? You got to listen to this stuff or change the future. You don't go in the jousting match. Now, the second thing I want to say about Nostradamus, like all other seers, is when he started to predict the future further out, he got less accurate. You're gonna love this. It's gonna make sense. You know what I'm gonna say? Why? Because the further out we go, the more we can change it, change it, change it, so it becomes less and less accurate. Pretty soon, maybe nothing he said will come to pass because maybe we've shifted into something so completely different, we're not living any of those realities. This is how it works. Baba Vanga, she happened to be very accurate. She was predicting things in her own lifetime. So she knew within this time period what was there, and some of that changed. 80% of her predictions, supposedly, I don't know if it's that high, uh, were accurate. Why? She was predicting things that were here. The further out they got, the less accurate they got. That means every single thing she said about, and if you watch my video on uh, 2023. None of it has to become true. Now, one of her predictions 
By the way, they, they don't have a real good handle on time. I talked to somebody who's like off the charts amazing, uh, who gave me some predictions many, many years ago, all of which have come to pass except one. I'm waiting for that one. It's all good. And she said, they can't see time. They go by how things look. Like if I was to predict your future and I had those talents and I could sit down, I would see visions or however it is I see it. I would see you as a young person or an old person. And I have to guess how old you are. So let's say I said, oh, you're 60, uh, you know, and you're, you know, you're actually 70 or 80 because you look 10 or 20 years younger than you are in that vision. So I would be guessing. So they're not accurate about that. They can guess according to certain things or maybe even, uh, you know, astrology or whatever else. So I want you to know these are just ballparks that they're giving. One thing that she predicted was that there would be a biological experiments on people injected and that hundreds of thousands of people would die. For 2023, I think that's what already happened to us. Whether they're experiments or not, she could have interpreted it that way, whether it was deliberate or not, I don't want to go into it. If you want to spend your time and energy on that garbage, go ahead. You'll never know. The three questions, what did you guys tell me? Who is that? Uh, one of the great philosophers said three questions. Is this true? Do you know for a fact? You personally, do you know if it's true? Number three, am I going to really benefit? Is it positive for me to hear this? Because he knew, he knew that that information and that energy field was going to change things. How you think, if you go into fear, whatever. So if somebody's spreading something that's a conspiracy and it may or not be true and they're just guessing or somebody said, some expert said, you are absolutely contributing in the most negative way. If that's what you, how you want to live your life, go, go for it because I won't participate in it. I don't have to. I can actually shift into another dimension. This is where I want to tell you this is so mind-blowing. So nothing anybody tells you is in stone. You can change anything in your own reality too. So if somebody sits there and tells you this is going to happen, you can change all of it. All of it. Now there are some agreements like in advance, and I told you in this uh, in the Baba Vanga video, that when people come in to let's just say cataclysmic events, they may purposefully come in during this time period so that they can participate in it in a massive way to help uh, facilitate changes on the earth. So let's say our, our whole health challenge we went through, those people, nothing happens by accident. Nobody's a victim, nobody just, oh. If you knew what they were going to, you would like mourn no one. <laughs> You'd be going, bravo. <laughs> When is it me? When am I next? Okay, I have some more work to do. And that's all it is. So all these people said, you know, we're going to transform. If we get into the position, if we actually do it, because we, we didn't have to, if we actually get in a position of major change, which we did, we went into a tipping point, and then we went into that whole event that changed the world. We'll never be the same again, ever, ever. So what did it do? It pushed us into a completely different way of thinking. It woke us up. Some people went into a negative space. That's all still choice. So all of those people decided they were going to participate in that event and leave during that time period. Those things are predetermined, but there's no such thing as time. So they're still making choices. They still make choices, even though they're not in their bodies yet and they come into the body. Time is irrelevant, right? So it all exists at one time, one moment, all at once as one thing. The closer we get to events, the more someone can actually see what it is. Now let's talk about remote viewers. Whole group of super high level remote viewers. If you don't know what they are, those are people that aren't necessarily psychic, but they get trained on how to focus on locations, events, time periods, and whatever. And they just write down what they what visions they get. And they're, most of them are pretty accurate. Some of it's like way off base. In fact, one of the top remote viewers said, don't pay attention to this stuff. It's all over the board. Why? They found out that the opinions and beliefs of the remote viewer affects what information they're getting. Is this cool? Does that tell you something? 
that means that they're affecting the probability they see. So the probability they see isn't wrong. It's accurate. It's their probability according to their beliefs and that future. It's real. It doesn't mean you're going to experience it. But it's what they see. Other ones saw different things. And then there were some consistent ones. And somebody just said, uh, nobody has seen nuclear war. By the way, that is true. Not in the Bible, not in the remote viewers, not in the Bible codes, uh, and Nostradamus, all these people. Baba Vanka is the only one I heard that said that, and I don't believe, I think we're past it. I think, again, she said that quite some time ago, like 50 years ago or something like that. And so we've changed it. We went into a higher frequency, so that's just not going to happen. So you can relax. I want you to relax because, again, you can change anything. We are changing everything. So all of these predictions and these things, if you're focused on them, you're going to just stress yourself out about something that doesn't ever have to happen. And if you choose a higher frequency, you will live in an existing world. That's that new earth. That's that split. See, I told you this was going to happen. And they're, they're actually living in that. You know, the hell in the handbasket reality. And you're somewhere completely over here not living that at all. They don't go away, by the way. Everybody's still in your reality. It's just a different version of them. This is really crazy stuff. So all of these predictions, especially of these super accurate people, many, many years ago, becomes less and less and less accurate. We've changed all of it. All of it. So even like solar flares and that, we, were, we are in entanglement with everything because we are one energy field. So we affect that too. So cataclysmic events will continue to happen, all right? They are part of the evolution of the planet. Again, just like our health challenge, uh, what did we do? We had choices. We learned to function differently. We have to have our back up against the wall before we make choices. Otherwise, we sit around eating bonbons on the beach, right? What good is that? So the challenges allow us the excitement, the exhilaration, the choices, uh, it's turning, they are turning points for us. Nothing, nothing you hear has to come to pass. And if there is something that does, I guarantee you, if you are focused in the right direction, it is for the best and highest of us. And within each challenge, every single person gets to make a higher choice. And they will come out a much higher frequency a better, more evolved person spiritually for it, it's all good, all of it. And people are, well, this could happen and this and it's scary. Why is it scary? You don't die. <laughs> What's scary? Scary's coming here and thinking this is all there is. <laughs> That's scary. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so what I want to share with you is that you have to be on it. You guys have seen that I have free videos. I say this in almost every video because I want you to know if you sign up for that. I have training and what I want to help you to do, and this is my whole channel revolves around this, we got to break through the fear. You will experience it. This is the beauty of being human. You experience pain, you experience these things, but you no longer allow it to control you. You see it totally different and all of a sudden it has beautiful meaning even when you go through the toughest of times, but you don't have to go to that dark night of the soul ever again. Ever. Never. You'll see things as, oh, my opportunity, and now you become free. But then, if you allow it to control you, you go into that dark pain, and you stay there until you figure out that you can change anything. Just like everything that is told about our future. Everything can change. And even when things happen, you can see them differently. Right? I saw our whole shutdown totally different than most people. I went, this is probably one of the best things that will ever happen to us. No, I don't wish people to, to pass on. But they chose that. They are not unwilling victims. I want you to know all those people are equally powerful. They're all the one. We're all the one. Everything is. And so therefore it holds within the hologram equal power, a wholeness in every single seemingly fragment of itself. Holds all the power. You do too. Don't ever tell me somebody is draining your energy. I'll say, well, then stop giving it to them. <laughs> you know? Make a different choice. Well, I'm in a household I can't get out of. No, you can get out of it. All things are possible. 
We're going to start doing that this coming year. So what I want to tell you is if you sign up for my free videos, uh, Breakthrough Fear, I have some special stuff going on. As of this video, it's not going to last that long. Extra coaching sessions, we coach. I coach every week with a very private group of people. If you want to be a part of that, I have a free master class for you to watch. You've got to be on this every day. You can't just meditate and think it's going to work for you. There are some serious energies that we chose, and we chose to go in a lower vibration. That is part of our energetic makeup here. So we're going to feel it, and that's real, right? That's real of in the illusion. The one is all just creations and illusions. So you, you've got to work through and handle it differently. And so I train people how to handle it. That's why I say, I don't say eliminate fear. I say break through it. We came here to experience it. What is it? Wow. Self-imposed limitations. A belief. It's a story, right? When you have fear and anxiety, what do, you, what do you have? A story you're running in your head. I could have a completely different story about, uh, you know, shutdown, lockdown. My story was totally different than all of my friends. I went... I hate to say this, but I think this is going to be one of the best things. They're like, have you lost your mind? I'm like, nope. Uh, and then I, I wrote a book. I had my best, my best years with my business because people were looking for solutions, and I was there for them. I loved it. And you can do the same thing. You guys have seen this. Is it up here? Free videos, online uh, training. Go get trained. Go expand. Go into spaces that make you uncomfortable. Quit chasing the money and all that, you know, some yin-yang stand in front of a jet on a runway. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not even their jet. Who cares about that? What, you really need a jet? No, I don't. <laughs> I work with those people. Trust me. It's a lot of maintenance. <laughs> but I'm offering you other things. If you go into this, one of the first things you'll get is an offer with guys I collaborate with that are creating uh, homesteads and and uh, they have a training program for people step by step, even if you have no money. Getting investors, having retreats, opening up these properties, it's amazing. We are changing the world. And if you're not seeing that, then you're not creating that future that Baba Vanga and Nostradamus didn't see because it didn't exist then. We're creating it. You can live in it. It's beautiful. It's happening right now. It's not the future. It's right now. It's been happening for decades. We're at a tipping point. It's beautiful. Yeah, get excited. And when things happen, say, okay, choices. People are still making choices. People are still experiencing things. They, they get to do that. We don't want to take that away from somebody. If somebody's still addicted, now if you're still addicted to all that stuff out there and the negativity and the fear, and it is an addiction, I can't help it. Yes, you can help it. You just, you're enjoying it. Maybe you need to feel that. It's like going to a scary movie. People like to be frightened. Why do we go to scary movies and all these other ones that we know that we're sitting there? Oh, you know, it's not real. That's life. We like to go into that space, don't we? That's exactly what we're doing. So allow people to go into that space. They're getting something from it that you don't know because they get to choose their seemingly individual uh, experience. It's theirs. Nobody else's. And you don't know their past. You don't know anything. And like Scrooge, there's some little child that was neglected that's striking out, and they have to work through that. They have to work through that. There's nothing you see of a negative nature that didn't come from something else negative. Somewhere, some, something happened somewhere. So we have to extend our compassion and our love. It's the only way we'll change it. We have to be the demonstration of loving it anyways. When you do it to another, when you judge, when you point fingers, when you blame and separate, you're doing it to all of us, the highest and the least of us. So, you ready for that? Do you like that? Yeah? The further away we get from the predictions, the less effective they are, the less real they are. I want you to take all of them with a grain of salt. If you're into that, go ahead, watch it. If it entertains you, I don't have time for it. So the remote viewers don't pay attention to that stuff. They are all coming up with different answers for our future. Why? Because the future is limitless probabilities. So no one person can actually know it. And if they tune in to where we are right now, we can change it. Remember I said the Bible code? Will you change it? Over and over, the Bible code 
will you change it? All those predictions, will you change it? You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope I'm pointing to the right spot. <laughs> I send you my light and love because that's what you are and nothing more. Namaste.